Thanks for watching. This is a vlog with Eric Mike Tree out at Journey at Pechanga. Really awesome course in Southern California connected to the Pechanga Casino. Eric is a golf pro who has won over 50 times professionally. And he just hit that off the deck. Now, the wind noise in this video is um, too bad to actually hear anything Eric said there. But basically, that's a shot it's, it, where he treats his driver kind of like a three wood and just hits a um, kind of like a, a low burning cut with his driver. And that was a, kind of a slow drive for me. Just to the left, though, there's a creek that runs down this fairway. It was converted from a par five into a par four. So now it's, I'm not sure, it was 587. So now I think it's like 425 or something like that. So this is, this is a seven iron for my second shot. And you can see it starts right at the hole, but then draws. And it's going to end up on the, the left rough. Now, and here's uh, Eric. I think he's got a, uh, a nine iron, I'm pretty sure. And just to pay attention to this swing, Eric made, I think Eric made seven birdies this day, and uh, you can see just how he's in real control of where oh, the golf ball is going to go. Really very, cool. very smooth. Yeah. Very smooth. And he hit that one uh, short right and just landed it real close. Let it kind of trickle right towards the hole, so he'll have a birdie chance there. All right, so that was my chip that goes way too far, and there's Eric back there just telling me that's way too much backswing. You do not need that much backswing for a shot that's going to fly three feet. Eric's saying my swing is just too large for a chipping motion. Because you'll get this thing way back here, and it's like, wow, look at all that you have assembled. That's enough to hit a 30 yard. Yeah, we're only trying to keep it airborne for seven feet yeah and you got that much back there that's why back there with my 54 mm -hmm. you know i had it back in the stance i had a little bit of shaft lean basically just got it like this these went forward a little and has this one forward and let it go and i said just stop there well, i was definitely trying to hold that yeah i was listening it's, it's, but, but yeah i'm just putting too much i in couldn't there. really feel it until a couple holes later he tells me the same thing but gives me a technical thing that I could do differently. Now this is this all happened before this uh, horrible situation started in, in the world before uh, all the courses were shut, shut down and everything like that. Oh, so birdie. that's a birdie for Eric. So Take one of the things is now. during Quite this. How many birdies is that today? Five? Uh, six? Six birdies, wow. Mm -hmm. I think this is the hardest hole in the golf course. Okay, this is Eric's the 14th hole, 497 yards, uh, probably yeah, the hardest four, hole in the, the course. There you go. So real important to hit a good drive here, and aiming here if you don't, oh, if you haven't that. played here before, is kind of tough because you just see a lot of mounds and bunkers, see all, everything up on that left side. So it's hard to kind of know where to go. It's a dog leg right to left, and just a gorgeous course out here. And after this round, the whole shutdown ha started. So right, like I've actually, uh, no, this was a, in doing the videos for, for this round, I just really did not like the direction of my swing or whatever. So I've taken like three lessons since then. And also a putting lesson like a and a bunch of other or stuff. Or so here drive. is Eric's it's second a, shot, so I think I think he's I forget what he has okay, so here. Point point to where you're aiming. He's got less than 200 yards, but he's got pretty close to 200 yards. So it's uphill, the pin's in the back, and it's blind. But he knows this oh, hole. It's going right at it. I mean, sure, just directly the right on the line right? for the hole. Hey, pretty good. Yeah. All right, I got the lower lofted club here. The 50 degree. Okay, so I'm coming up I'm just, present just a little short of the green here. There. So again, with the chipping, I'm trying to feel this is less loft now, and I'm going to try to have a shorter swing, which still just way too long. I still and uh, and I think one more hole, maybe two more holes. Eric kind of makes a change that that helped my chipping a little bit. I mean, I hit it the right distance. It's just hard to hit it online when you have so much 
variation going through it in the length of the stroke. All right, that was for birdie for Eric. So that's an an easy tap in par on this very. That's a 487 yard, 497 yard par four there. So and uphill too. So that's really good. And this was before. So the, I did a whole thing where I changed my swing. Not changed my swing, but I just rededicated to we'll golf there. lessons, like via FaceTime and stuff during this lockdown. And also uh, putting lessons. So full swing lessons and putting lessons. So like a lot of people, I'm using this opportunity to make a lot of improvements to my game, even though not able to play at all, trying to make some improvements. This is a 210-yard wow. par really four, good. three. I think that's a four iron for Eric, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, no. Yeah, 204 yards, and again, I hit it solid, just, just left, and then it lands on that bank and then rolls halfway down the bank. So put match my shoulders to the slope, like this, that? Um, So here, the main thing I was thinking about here was just, it's on a very steep upslope, so I was asking him, should I be, should I be thinking about swinging up the slope? And he said, no, it can, it can go up the slope, but it can go into it a little bit. So that's mainly what I was thinking about. And uh, in thinking about that, let's just see what happens here. In thinking about that, I just put it right behind the ball, it didn't go anywhere. So this was the main tip that really helped my chipping since this point was that uh, Eric wanted me to take a much shorter backswing, which I wasn't able to do at all. But then when he said, he said, hey, you can actually have some wrist set, have, a, have the wrist kind of lively in the backswing. When it's stiff, let's see, when I do it stiff, kind of Jason Day style, the backswing can get really long, and then it's really hard to put it right back on the button and online. But if I take a little bit of wrist, I only need to take it back like a foot, and I'll have enough power to to get it that chipping distance so that was the chip like i said this was actually a super depressing round of golf for me uh i could tell uh, eric was actually upset by the way i was playing golf so come on eric. all right I don't, anyway so um oh, good that's eric for birdie really good and he makes a, a great par there so that's what i was talking about so that was on the left when i when i chunked it and it went almost barely got on the green and that was on the right is when it when I was using a little bit more wrist set, you see, you, you just don't need to take it back as far when you do that. And coming up, I asked Eric about his philosophy on scoring in general, just tee to green. I've got two philosophies that I play by. One, I'm trying to birdie every hole. Actually, let me take that back. I'm trying to hole it. I, I want to hole every shot if I can. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that I see is, can I hole it from here? Right. right? And if I can't, then where can I play to, where's the next best place to play to to hold it from there? Right. So so it's like that, and I back it all the way to the to the tee, and it's, can I hold it from here? But also, I'm making par from here. So yeah. I want to hold every... All right, this is a par five. The, that is the par three that we just played on the left. So you're going up it one way and then back oh, it the other shot, way. Eric. Eric hits a beautiful drive right down the middle. Uh, pretty consistent theme. He was super consistent. Very different from playing with even like even playing with like really good amateurs. It's the uh, the main difference is just you know the spread is much tighter, and then uh, there's good shot. Like if there's misses, there's good shots coming up right after the misses. So, and that was just the main thing is I just had to change my level completely. All right, so I'm that's, gonna that, aim that's the main change over the too. left. Yeah, the third bunker in 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 a row. Yeah. 155. Yeah, and you know, keep it. All right, so this for the second shot, it's left. just going to be a layup. Yep. You got a seven iron trying to hit it like 165 yards, something like that. And you can see it just totally unorganized. Went right down the, the middle. It's fine for a layup, but you know, still pretty bad. And then uh, here's Eric for his second shot, and he'll be able to go for it. So he's going to go to this head cover here on this old hybrid that he has. I think it's an old Callaway Diablo hybrid. I meant to do uh, What's in the Bag with Eric, but I don't think I did. But really good shot. Is it just past pin high or exactly pin high, I think? Yeah, very good. Pretty tight. 
All right, here's my, my third shot in this par five. And that actually, that was, that was pretty decent. It's gonna go right at the hole. Yeah, it's something, like my inconsistency is something it, between my wrist set and turn in the backswing and then there. Yeah, it, that is, there's something off. I mean, there, there it was on. Well, look at the, look at the path of the divot. It's very good, yeah. How, well, no, it's left. How far left is it? Oh, I thought you meant this, this shot. No, that part of it's good. Yeah. But the direction of it, right? So that's how much you've shifted the plane that wants to go that way, and you're trying to get it to go right. that way. So then I'm opening the face, so it's, it's, it's less hit and, right. and more across. Yeah. Here's Eric putting for eagle. Our for eagle. Makes a great oh, run. So good for so long. Just uh, good birdie. All right, here, here I am putting for birdie. So this is before the putting lesson. If you guys haven't seen that putting video I did with Tim Yelverton, you can you can see here some of the problems Tim's talking about because the ball was too forward in my stance and I would pull it sometimes. So then you kind of bake in a block on purpose with that, and sometimes it sometimes you pull it, sometimes you block it. So had to totally change my setup and uh, it's it's helped my putting a lot you know just in in practice so we'll put it we'll put it in practice but i really if you're stuck inside recommend that you watch that video this is a long par three 17th hole really cool hole eric hits it super solid he'll be in that uh, front bunker it just fell out of the sky barely and uh, this is a three hybrid for me i think it's like 240 or something there and that was one of the only solid shots I hit this day. Uh, really solid. Same thing though. Just I, there's some kind of breeze just above the mountain or something, and it just knocked it out of the sky and uh, landed it on that grass and then trickled in the bunker. Horrible bunker shot. Not a lot good going on here with the with the golf game, folks. Uh, for this day, it's getting a lot better since then, as far as like the motion I'm making, and I'm actually able to practice my swing some. So Eric hits a little chip there, kind of showing me what he was talking about with that wrist set and through thing. All right, final hole. This is an awesome hole. So there's the casino, the Pachanga Casino right there in front of us. It's a dog leg right to left. Oh, great shot. So Eric hits a uh, just a little bit of a fade perfectly in the center of the fairway. And this drive, actually, this is the only good drive I hit this day. But the reason is because my level was a lot better. So I kind of stayed level and then yeah. remained level in the transition and then got up through the we'll shot, is which is right? now what I'm trying to do is okay. if I hit stay hard, level, yeah. get down in transition, then come up through the shot. So, which is, uh, Slightly I can talk more about that in a future video, but um, I actually did it that time. But uh, now I know some ways that I can actually work on that. All right, pretty good wedge shot there. Actually, a very good wedge shot there. So it was good to end on two yeah, good better, shots better, and have better, a yeah. a birdie okay. putt inside 15 feet to end end the hole, to end the round. It's about the same. I mean, it is it is still going. It's still going left. Yeah. It's about the same. But what did you like more about that one? Uh, I liked it. I liked it shorter, softer. When you can, when you can get this up here and have it come back down and turn through it without it. Without it going, that's okay. a lot of that's a lot of down. Show me the good versus the bad again. So we want this to here that way. Yeah. Once you start moving this, up. oh, the the level of that starts yeah. changing. It's a lot of inconsistencies. Yeah. When this level starts to change, we just want this to turn, and you'll go, you'll go up first, and then this will. But this moves away from, towards the ground and away from the ground. So how can that connect stay this consistent? Way. Okay. So, so this moves. How show me the right way where it would not I, move I like them. It just turning. Yeah, you're right. It's staying about the same level. There. Once I start getting this this where it takes this even if I take it back here but then go this way mm -hmm. this starts to work down and then this all has to fit so it can fit if I rotate like crazy 
that's how I'm going to get a lot of shaft lean. Yeah. But I don't like this moving up and down. Oh, yeah. I just like it turning away from it. It'll go down a little bit here, but then it turns. But once it starts to come up and then down, it's wheeling this thing all over the place. Par. That's a great round though. That's a gr like all together. Yeah, Eric shot somewhere in the 60s for that round, which is pretty good because it's a long course, oh, I'm not all the way back. And so you can see the 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 putting setup issues there, kind of makes that little block just happen naturally. Thanks for watching, everybody. Eric and I are going to be doing a Be Better Golf School, um, in part here at Pechanga. This is Journey of Patang, a really amazing course, obviously, that you've, you've been seeing us play at. And over at Rancho California, Eric's, uh, so you'll see information about that at bebettergolf.net slash school. And also Eric is teaching lessons over at Rancho California in Murrieta. So uh, contact him through Instagram, it, which is ezegolf60 on Instagram. And uh, follow my Instagram as well, at bb underscore golf show. Thanks a lot, Eric. Cheers, man. See Bye. you guys. Bye.